Okay, so now I'm going to show you a scene with the camera moving more. And like I said, pick a scene in your in your level. Like I'll choose the castle. And remember, you may not want to move through walls because it might look silly. So the first thing you do is you create a camera and you go down to the transform track. And let's say I want to start with this door. So I click a keyframe. The other thing I asked you to do a while ago that I highly recommend is automatic keyframing. So you always move forward first. And again, this, if you change this to seconds the last time, but let's go, we'll go a little slower. And I'm going to go through the door here. Okay. And my camera is too fast here. So I'm going to change this to three or two or something. Just so, and then I'm going to go like this. And I probably want to keyframe where the door is because otherwise it'll, it, it'll be dumb and go through a wall. You follow me? It doesn't know it's a computer. It doesn't, you have to tell it what to do. Again, I'm going to move forward. And let's say I want, I don't know, let's say you got a nice statue or something over here. Well, I have nice stairs. So I'm going to point that one. So I'm going to just go like that. And then I'm going to go, okay, I want to show that. Let's say you want it to stay there for a second. That's fine. Maybe you can just stop, you know, and click again. So because, you know, you want this to be looked at for more than, this will prevent it from moving. So look. And then it stops moving because if you don't do that, it'll always be moving. Okay. And right away, there's a problem. I need to change this to like 22 or something. Okay. It's too short. And same thing as a while ago, like this. And remember this. And remember at the top that you have to drag this. And everybody always forgets this part. So don't. And then I'm going to, again, show my level a little bit. So I'm going to go. I'm going to go up here, let's say, and I want to show the walkway. And maybe I, you know, place yourself perfectly. And then go here. And then I'm just going to go right here and, you know, gently turn. Because I'm looking this way. And, you know, then I'm going to go here. And maybe, you know, you can do so many things. It's up to you. I'm going to go like this. And I probably need to back because I want to just show the castle from the top. Okay, I'll stop there and it creates a keyframe. So let's have a look now for now. Always test as you go. Since it's a little fast, I could slow that down. So let's do that right away. And that one's a little fast, but you know what? So how am I going to do this? I'm going to go like this. I'm going to move this over here. I'm going to move this over here. I'm going to move this over here to slow it down because it's always too fast. Students always make it too fast. So let's have a look. You see how it stops? That's a really good idea. And you might have to experiment so it doesn't spin around so much. So that's my next scene. So I'm going to show you again how do you export. You go AVI. Everything's set now. So it'll remember. And it's in the game trailer. Click capture video. And I'll save it again in case it crashes. Okay, and I'm going to actually make another video right now. Let me just pause. So I'm going to show you another thing that you can do. So now I'm going to create a new sequencer. Every time you're done, export it right away. So I'm going to go to animation. I am going to go to level sequence. I'm going to call this take three. So let's double check. Click on this. And now I'm going to go get my animated dude, okay? And the quick way to move is click on it. You see it press F so remember that and I'm gonna I just I want to film this fella doing his dance I think so I'm gonna click on it and then I'm gonna drag him in here okay and what I want to do is attach the animation that he has and I just want to see if I can do it with this guy um, I might have to okay, give me a second here those of you who have the blueprint just click here click on the skeletal mesh because that's what you put the animation on and you probably only have one so I'm gonna it's called Samba dancing and I'm gonna just press play here and see if he dances of course he will now here's the problem what am I missing well a camera of course okay and what did I tell you guys to do uh, 
the first thing you always do with the camera is go to change the focus to disable. I might have forgot to do that in the last video. And it may look fine anyways. And, you know, if ever there's like your character standing there, move that, you know, clean your scene so it doesn't look silly. And so we're going to go like this. All right. I'm going to show you how to make a second camera. So let's say that's my first shot. I really like that one. So the first thing I want to do is click on this camera. Um, press F2 and call it Cam 1. This is really important that you rename your cameras. I'm going to create a new camera. I'm going to go down. Where is it? Um, it's right here. Okay. And I'm going to press F2 and I'm going to call it Cam 2. Okay. Now this is where you're going to see that when you either you press this, this, or this, it makes a big difference. So this is the first scene, so I'm okay. And you even see it says Cam 1. But let's say when I get to about 1.5 seconds, I decide that I want a shot of him close up on his face. So what I'm going to do is click on Cam 2, click here. Now I'm, on, I'm controlling Camera 2. So I'm going to go like this, and I'm going to go like this. And really important that you go open it and under the transform track, you click record, okay? Because it'll, it'll remember to record it from there. And let's look at cam one. What does cam one see? Well, and you know what's always important, even though this one you probably don't need to do it, create a keyframe. All right, so let's see. Again, this is a little advanced. If you decide you don't want to do two cameras, I completely understand. Because maybe this is an enrichment thing, to be honest. So I'll say it about here. I want to change to the second camera. So I'm going to go cam 2. And let's see what we got now. Well, and when I say let's see what we got, you need to click here. So don't click on this one, but click here. So let's see. There he is dancing. And there he is dancing. And, you know, you could even go back to camera 1. Or add a camera 3, by the way. Doing the same thing. Here by just going like this camera one and it by the way it'll just show whatever camera one was doing okay if you made a camera three and you want to you could do this all right so that's about it guys